Flow Desk users, it is time to power up your workflows. We just made some major updates to workflows and you are going to love them. These updates are gonna make your automations faster, more powerful and more flexible than ever before. Let's dive in to what's new in workflows. Now you can let subscribers enter a workflow more than once. This feature is especially helpful if you are somebody that runs challenges or has a freebie or an opt-in or even a seasonal offer. You can now reuse your workflows and send people through them multiple times, or your subscribers can go through them to receive content again that they might want to refresher on. To turn on this new feature, go to your new workflow settings and flip the toggle for allow repeat subscribers. Have you ever created a brand new workflow and realized that you have a segment that would be perfect to send through? With this new update, you can now add existing subscribers in a segment to your new workflows. To do this, build or update your workflow, click the publish button. And if there are subscribers in that segment that have not already been through that workflow, you will be asked if you want to include those subscribers. This new feature gives you more flexibility and control in your workflows. And now you can do it without extra manual steps. In this update, you can also exclude segments from joining or continuing in a workflow. Let's say you have a workflow that is showcasing your latest offer. You're telling your subscribers all about it, how great it is and why they should buy it. Well, if they actually buy it, you probably shouldn't send them more emails telling them that they should buy it, right? With this new feature, when they make a purchase and you add them to a different segment, you can exclude that segment from this workflow. So it will not allow anybody to enter it if they've already purchased, or if they're in the middle of that workflow, it will allow them to exit so no more emails are sent. To exclude segments from your workflow, click on the new workflow settings button, and then add the segments you want to exclude right here in the exclude segments box. We've also added a new trigger to our workflows. Now you can simplify the whole process and immediately start a workflow when a form is completed. This makes it easier and simpler than ever before to automate your business and get these workflows kicked off. To do this, click on your add trigger button at the top of your workflow. And then on the right hand side, underneath workflow begins when, there's a drop down and you can select whether it starts when a form is completed or a subscriber is added to a segment. You can choose to use either of these triggers or both of them. This gives you more flexibility so you can create the right automations for your business. We've also made some really exciting improvements to workflows that you are going to love. Have you ever gone into an old workflow to make a change, but then you realized you couldn't republish it because it had an old date delay in it? Now you do not have to worry about that anymore. You can now republish workflows that has a date delay that has already passed. You can also make changes to time delays in workflows without causing any issues. Also, if a subscriber soft bounces, we're not gonna remove them from a workflow anymore. Lastly, we gave you the ability to determine if a specific date time delay is for this year or if it's for any year. If you choose for that time delay to apply to any year and somebody reaches that step after the date has passed, they will stay in that step until they reach that same date the following year. However, if you have not selected that option and instead have chosen a date with a specific year, it will only trigger on that specific year. If somebody reaches this step after the date has passed, it will skip the time delay and move on to the next step. Make sure you check to see what that next step is because it may be an email and that email will send immediately if the date has already passed. So that wraps up this workflow power up. To upgrade to the new version of workflows, log into your Flowdesk account, click on the workflows tab, and then click the update now button on each of your workflows. Once you update those workflows, you will have access to those powerful new features. These new workflow features mean less stress for you and more flexibility and conversions for your business. By the way, we're just getting started. There are so many new and amazing features on its way to workflows.